Kujo. Ask Celeste on a scale of 1 to 10, what's your favorite color of the alphabet? True or false? Celeste responds by answering 10. The perfect 10, of course. <laughs> Good people and welcome to the 3,000 strong year of the horizon, Toon Link Day of your United States Aviator. Welcome you all back once again to another fantastic episode of the Don Gon Olympic Hunger Games. And I bet you're wondering, wow, everything is so, so, so succinct, so on time. I'm using a soundboard. We're playing around with it today. So I will have to do minimal editing, and if this works out, if this just comes out perfectly fine, I could, st I could stream an episode just whenever I want if I wanted to. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're ready. We have gymnastics today. Six people from each of the teams, but before we get into that, actually, we have a slim a slim change up to the points last time i noticed this but couldn't edit it in time danganronpa 3 is actually much further ahead than we thought i put them at 30 but i forgot to factor in izayoi's points so that brings them up an extra 15 because he got to second and that brings them to 45 and something else that people mentioned in the comments and i think is going to actually become a reality munakata got two kills with his sword i think that uh, it's always the first person on the day to get kills with the weapon gets five points. I think we are gonna make it so if you get two kills, you're gonna get twice as many points, or three kills, three times as many points. I think that I think that that's fair. You impress the judges so much that they give you extra points. So instead of getting five for killing those two OCs, Munukata is actually gonna get ten, and so that brings them to a grand total of fifty points. So they are now twice as ahead of the other teams at least. It's nuts, and that's the updated scorecard, you see it there. Ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce everybody who's here for gymnastics, starting off at the top. In Danganronpa 1, we have Celeste, Junko, freaking Sayaka, Toko Chihiro, and Mukuro representing the Danganronpa 1 team. Onward to Danganronpa 2, we have Akane, Crazy Yoko, Sonya, Mahiru, Fuyihiko, Nagito. I'm just assuming Nagito's luck is going to give him some fantastic movements. Ultra Despair Girls, we have Komaru, we have Katoko, we have Yuta, Jotaro, Nagisa, and Masaru. Monica's not here today because for all I know, she's still in a wheelchair trying to fool people. Danganronpa V3, we have Angie, Himiko, Kaito, Kurumi, Tenko, and Shuichi. Danganronpa 3 team, moving on to them, we have Chisa, Ruruka, Seiko. Mitarai, Maya, and non AI Chiaki is back once again. And for Team OCs, we're gonna start off at the very top. We have Miss Magdalena Mesai. Miss Magdalena is here today, created by Emma Z, and she is the ultimate pageant queen. She's loving that jewelry, she's loving getting praise, but most importantly, she loves getting wins. Can she be the first OC winner? The first OC to even get a medal. The first two weeks were not pleasant for them, but they got a couple of points thanks to June. She is from A Girl's Promise. Go and check it out. Moving on, we have Yoko. Yoko Najimine, created by Ace A.W., the ultimate. Not just, not just a regular listener, the ultimate listener. Likes music and reading, and that is going to come in... So handy, let me tell you. So handy for them deep now for these gymnastic games, listening to that music, being able to be spot on with all of the movements. Yoko could come out on top for you guys. And the ultimate tap dancer is back. It is Rico, created by Ames. The ultimate tap dancer. Great with musicals, astronomy, puns. Look, look. Tap dancing, a form of art with your body, the same with gymnastics. Will that translate as well as we think it could? Rico. Created by Ames once again, Haru Mitsuki is here today. And Haru, let me tell you, 
created by Ainari, is the ultimate memer. We have some memes in these Hunger Games. He's a fan of spicy foods, but you know what? You know what caught my eye? The earbuds. The earbuds in his ears. He knows what's going on. He hears everything. He hears that music. He's going to move in time, and he might meme out for everybody here today. Cujo is back. And he and I may have a little bit of beef because of the... Oof, we don't like to talk about it, but the mistletoe that he has hung up previously in these games and I had to personally take him out, but I might not have to do that today. Will he do incredible mistletoe? It was fun. It, look, that man's... He's an icon in these games because of the mistletoe. Created by ZA123, Zoro's own. It is Cujo. Can he do it? Also, notes, we have plushy doodles on Instagram, check it out. And lastly, Kirara Moroboshi. Now let me tell you guys, Kirara is the ultimate actress created by Tiffany Chan. One, two, three. I think that her acting prowess is going to come in handy for these games. It's going to work out perfectly for these games. Kirara is going to win these games games ladies and gentlemen that's the field i think we have strong competitors today muse not here so we're not spinning any wheels no championships will be on the line but the tag team champions i will say will be duking it out tomorrow well they'll, they'll be duking it out tomorrow yes the tag team champs will be in tomorrow's episode but we will have a wheel to spin i can't say that it'll hit because it's only five percent chance and i think next week i have both of the wheels spinning yeah i think it's gonna be nuts things are about to get real nuts so, ladies and gentlemen let me know. Which, first of all, I don't think I've ever asked you guys, which team are you rooting for? Danganronpa 1, 2, Ultra Spur Girls, V3, Danganronpa 3, or the OCs? Let me know that in the comments. Pick first, second, and third, you know, your gold, bronze, and silver. Not in that order, you should probably pick it in gold, silver, bronze. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling, feeling very chipper today for 3,000. We're at 3,000 straw. Oh man, thank you guys for that. But tell me that, which team overall are you rooting for? Who do you got coming out on top? Because even though Danganronpa 3 is now at 50 points, all of that could change. There's so many episodes left, and bonus points could proc this episode. Let me know in the comments. First, second, third, gold, silver, runs, and of course, which team? And while you guys do that, I am going to, um... I don't know. What am I going to do? Oh, maybe I can play the, the, the intro-outro. Hold on. We're going to go to this. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for 3,000 subscribers. I'm not ending the episode. Now that I hear this playing, it almost feels like I'm ending the episode right now. Now, I'm just here to thank you. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. And if you're not liked and subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that right now because we are 3,000 strong and some special is going to come up for that soon enough as soon as I figure out. It always kind of sneaks up on me whenever it hits. This one didn't sneak up too bad on me. So I kind of know what I want to do, but it's going to come. It's in the coming weeks. It's in, it's in progress. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. It's going to be good. But I hope you guys have made your picks, because now I'm about to make mine as we go back to... That music. Oh, we're back. <sighs> Who do I got? I think we needed... I'm, I'm rooting for Chihiro to get... I'm, I'm rooting for Chihiro to get third. Because they need some points. Danganronpa 1 needs some points. I want an OC to get second, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go against me doing whatever I did last time. I will never reveal what I did. I'm picking Kujo for second. And for first place, I think I'm gonna go back up to Danganronpa 1, and I'm gonna go Mukuro. Oh, also, do you guys think any bonus points are gonna hit? It's kind of harder to hit bonus points, but these bonus points are usually better, if I'm being completely honest. You have more of a chance to get, like, a bigger set of points in one event. Because it only happens in the Feast. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're set. Those are my first, second, and third picks. You guys have to go back and edit your comments or comment on your comments. But most importantly, put a little spoiler tag if you got spoilers in your comments and put a couple lines down because you don't want to spoil anybody going through the comments. Because mobile comments have gotten really weird and they don't put the pinned comment at the top, which is silly. But it is what it is. YouTube does that sometimes. It's time. I have to actually reach pretty far over here because I did not kind of just toss the die right there. Oh, yes, I got it. I got it. Because you guys, take a deep breath. 
because it's dice rolling time. We have the die. It is here. You guys are prepared because we have to roll this die I don't know how many times, but I'm probably gonna do uh, like one or two two big rolls because I'm feeling it today. That's one. In fact, let's do three big rolls. Three, the third time for 3,000 subscribers and we are four. Four resimulates here today, which means I'm not clicking this button. Not one time. Not two times. And not three times. But four times because now ladies and gentlemen it's time to get things moving you know what that music means it is time to scroll to the bottom we have 36 competitors here today they are all vying for olympic gold olympic silver olympic bronze olympic bronze and of course bonus points but only one can truly come out on top only one will be guaranteed to make it two the Danganronpa Hunger Games season finale. The Dongan Olympic season finale. Let's go ahead and proceed. As the tribute stand on their podiums, the horns, they sound. So can we please sound the horns? Of course we can. Ladies and gentlemen, Sonya runs away from the cornucopia as does Yoko Fuyuhiko runs away from the cornucopia. Junko snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. Akane and Yuta fall in love at first sight despite the circumstances. Yuta, aren't you married to the champ right now? I forgot about that. You and you got married last season. <laughs> Shuichi piggybacks Jitaro out of the cornucopia. Celeste Samir, uh, seriously, Samir, seriously contemplates suicide. Himiko runs away from the cornucopia, as does Tenko. Nakito snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. Masaru is here because Riko said that he was not good enough for the games. Wow. Masaru is like, I heard that, and I am good enough. Mukuro is concerned by Mahiru, but Mukuro outwits and kills Mahiru. Mahiru is the first one out of here. Maya and Katoko impale each other on their spears. Rest in peace to the two of you. Chisa kills Komaru. She tries to run. It, it, I was going to say it first. I didn't say it out loud, but I was thinking, wow, it's really peaceful at the start of this. And then it just gets real bloody so fast. Chiaki, the non-AI variant, takes a handful of throwing knives. Mitarai grabs as many weapons as humanly possible. Chihiro grabs as many weapons as humanly possible, too. Sayaka runs away from the cornucopia. Ruruka seriously contemplates suicide. Nagisa and Kaito kill Toko and Kirara with chainsaws. Oh, Kirara, but that's an epic way to go out, let's be honest. Kujo receives a trident from inside of the cornucopia. Seiko finds a shopping cart inside of the cornucopia. So does Kurumi. Haru cuts my. Oh, man. Magdalena with a knife in self-defense before running off. Magdalena, oh no. Magdalena. Crazy Yoko grabs an actual shield leaning on the cornucopia. And Angie grabs a sword. Magdalena's still alive, actually. She just got cut. We'll go on. It is day two as you go. I'm sorry, Yoko receives allergy medications, uh, allergy medications from an unknown sponsor. Nagito receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Sonya discovers a cave. Angie tries to spearfish with a trident. Nagisa confides in Chisa. Junko puts all of her faith into it. Tua. Ruruka rips Chihiro's arms and beats him to death with them. You will not be getting third place, my boy. That is one of my three gone. Jotaro gives Nani Aichiaki a rose, a kiss from a rose on the gray. Seiko takes time to rest before packing, or partaking in the next event. Mitrai injures himself. Akane questions if Mukuro's name is real or not. Might be, might be, might not be though. Himiko does a super sick backflip. Neato. That is, that is in the, in the spirit of gymnastics. She should get some points for that, but she's not, it's not the beast. <laughs> Celeste manages to get away with kicking a referee in the head. How did she get away? Cause she's a part of the squad and I was like, she's not disqualified. <laughs> not disqualified. <laughs> Haru accidentally runs into a tree, that seems like a meme to me. Sayaka receives an explosion from an unknown sponsor, someone needs to stop sponsoring Sayaka. Magdalena receives hot cocoa from an unknown sponsor. Karumi and Kujo split up to search for resources. Tenko receives pancakes from an unknown sponsor. Masaru spends a date ticket on Kaito. Yuta Insa uh, eats a sensu bean, healing all of his wounds, even his broken heart maybe. He didn't have his heart broken, he's just <laughs> flirting with people who are not his wife. Shuichi constructs a shack. Riko tries to sneak attack Crazy Yoko, but Crazy Yoko catches on and she runs off and Fuyihiko starts to go insane as we proceed to the first Claire de Lune. We lost seven, over a sixth of the competition gone right here today. But first and foremost, can we get a Claire de Lune 4? 
Mahiru, Maya, Katoko, Komaru, Toko, Kirara, Chihiro. And as we take a quick peek at everybody's statuses, we lost two from Danganronpa 1, none from, I'm sorry, Mahiru from Danganronpa 2, two from Ultra Despair Girls, none from V3, Maya from Danganronpa 3, and only one Kirara, rest in peace, from Team OC. Things are still fairly balanced. Danganronpa 3 is doing the best right now, so I expect them to lose, so ladies and gentlemen. That's the lot who's still here. How are your picks doing? I lost one of my three. It happens. Mukuro could still win, though. Mukuro could still win. Kujo could still come in second. But we have to find out how it'll all go down as we click on. <sighs> Proceed. It's time for the action. And at the start of it all, at the start of night one, Tinko and Junko play rock, paper, scissors. Junko lost and now has a sad feeling in her chest. Akane and Sonya, who... I swear, you look. I know it was you, Kujo. I know you did this. Akane and Sonya share a kiss underneath the mistletoe. Look at that. The team is the team is sticking together, but V3 is like, no, no lovely moments. Angie ruins their moment by killing them both. Rest in peace to Akane and Sonya. Fuyiko finds Nagito so adorable that he can't stop gushing over him. Masaru and Yoko exercise underneath the stars. Himiko discovers the mastermind and is killed for it. The death is made to look like an accident. I must have been an accident. Crazy Oko dances the moonlight, Maruka sets all oh, Magdalena on fire with a Molotov, oh, oh, the queen, pageant queen, oh, rest in peace. Kujo, ask Celeste on a scale of 1 to 10, what's your favorite color of the alphabet, true or false? Celeste responds by answering 10, the perfect 10, of course. A starving Nani Aichiaki trades nearly half her supplies for Mukuro's loaf of bread. Haru catches Nagisa off guard and kills him. Jitaro wishes to talk about the best economic system in a Russian accent. Chisa begs for Seiko to kill her. She refuses keeping Chisa alive. She was like, no, we need to stick together. We need to extend our lead. Yuna puts his faith into Kurumi and allows himself to fall backwards. Kurumi does nothing and just watches him tower down. Toodaloo to ya. Mitarai and Kaito cuddle together for the night. As soon as Mitsurai falls asleep, Kaito stabs him. My gosh. V3 is going off. Shuichi tries to treat his infection, and Sayaka vibe checks Rico. She notices that Rico's vibes were off and consoled her. Don't trust her. Don't trust her. Don't trust Sayaka. That's, that's, uh, that's uh, not a good move. You know what else is not a good move? At the start of day two, Jotaro traps himself and bleeds out. Masaru screams for minutes on end, causing him to power up to Super Saiyan. Fuyi Konaharu. Uh, Haru, I'm sorry. Talk about their lives together. Oh, Kaito taints Seiko's food, killing her. It was just, it was just your girl's birthday this Monday. Nane Achiaki, Tenko, and Nagito successfully ambush and kill Angie, Kurumi, and Yuta. That's two V3 people gone. Chisa, Junko, Yoko, Mukuro, and Shuichi hunt for other people to kill. Riko tells Kujo that the sky is blue. Kujo will remember that. Is that a positive memory or a negative one? Who knows? But that's the team. That's the that's that's the OC team bonding. Sayaka tells Ruka that she is rooting for her to win. Celeste falls asleep in a meadow of flowers, and Crazy Yoko picks some flowers to pay respect to a fallen friend. Probably, probably good old Mahiru. We'll proceed. Eleven cannon shots. My goodness gracious. We lost eleven. Can we get eleven cannon shots? A beautiful Claire de Lune. Four. Akane, Sonia, Himiko, Magdalena, Nagisa, Mitarai, Jotaro, Seiko, Angie, Kurumi, Yuta. And as we see everybody's statuses, we still have four remaining. For Danganronpa 1, Celeste Junko, Freaking Sayaka, and Mukuro, we have three remaining. For Crazy Yoko, Fuihiko, and Nagito, who has three kills. Only Masaru carries the torch for Ultra Despair Girls. Can he get them some points? Danganronpa 3 has three people remaining as well. Kaito, Tenko, and Shuichi. Chisa, Ruruka, and Nana Ajiaki are the three for Danganronpa 3. And shockingly enough, Team OC is the strongest team right now. Tied with Danganronpa 1 with four people remaining, Yoko, Riko, Haru, and Kujo, who will come out on top. 
Who will be your top three? Who will be gold, silver, bronze? I don't know, but that's the lot we have left. Are you guys ready? Because I am ready. It is time to proceed to see what else happens in this incredible gymnastics event. Don Gon Lympics keeps on going at the start of night two. Shuichi tries to sing himself to sleep as Ruka thinks about home. Crazy Oka puts her trust in Rico and allows herself to fall backwards. Rico also does nothing and just everyone's so rude today. People are just wanting to do some trust falls and everybody's like nothing. So Tinko fins Junko, Kaito, and Nagito away from her fire. Degenerate males and a degenerate despair girl. Sayaka presses play on a stereo. And it plays some sick beats of only a word your execution music. Haru and Masaru vow to protect each other. Fuiko, Nanayachaki, and Mukuro track down and kill Celeste. No, Celeste, it was almost time. Kujo vibe checks Yoko. He notices that Yoko's vibes were off and consoled her. That's, that's my man's the ultimate seducer out here. Chisa passes out from exhaustion as we'll go on to day three. Riko confides in Yoko. Mukuro, Nagito, Sayaka, Kujo, and Crazy Yoko hunt for other tribute. Shuichi confides in Haru. Kaito practices archery. Tinko attempts to strangle Fuyiko, but awkwardly ends up massaging his shoulders. Huh. Huh. I guess that Neo Aikido doesn't affect, uh... Doesn't affect... Mob bosses. Gangsters. Who knew? Junko does the same for Aruka. Apparently, despair does not affect, uh, confectioners. <laughs> Nanayachiaki puts all of her faith into a Tua. Masaru receives a hatch from an unknown sponsor, and Chisa had to go to school to her students and attempts to leave the arena, but she was killed on contact with the barrier. We'll proceed. We lost two. One from Danganronpa 1, one from Danganronpa 3. So can we get a Claire Delu 4? Celeste of the Squad. Chisa. Now let's see everybody's statuses. We got, what, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 remaining. Six more until you're saving grace picks. Three from Danganronpa 1, three from Danganronpa 2, one from Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls, Masaru still holding on strong. Three from Danganronpa V3, two from Danganronpa 3, and the OCs are going strong with four. Who's coming out on top? I don't know, but we have to keep on going. We got six left. Let's proceed and see what else transpires. We have not gotten the beast, not gotten an arena event. We got plenty of things that we could get as we go on and click the next round button for you, Hiko. Finds a mistletoe and takes it down. Despite the fact that they cannot understand each other, Ruka, Crazy Yoko, Nagita, uh, Nagito and Haru become great friends. Kujo unfortunately gets Falcon punched by Captain Kaito. Yoko receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Sayaka walks into a bar. She gets a concussion from smacking her head against the iron and never wakes up. Let's go. Bar. <laughs> Bar, Bar, I'm so proud of you. In fact, in fact, I'll do it anyway. Bar, you are absolutely glorious. I never thought I'd be cheering for a bar so hard. Let's go, Bar. Let's go, Bar. All right. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. Okay. Let's let's get back into the action. Tenko defeats Shuichi in a fight, pointing her sword at Shuichi's neck before saying, not yet, and walking away into the night. Nane Achiaki and Riko practice tennis with each other. Nane Achiaki ends up getting smacked in the face with a tennis ball. Oh, Nane Achiaki. Mukuro, gosh darn it, Mukuro, that's all of my picks. Mukuro dies from hunger. Junko tries to treat her infection, and Masaru foreshadows the winner of this game, somehow. But who's it gonna be? Masaru, tell us as we proceed on to day four, Junko also traps herself and bleeds out. Rest in peace, it is not going well for Danganronpa 1 anymore. Magikarp uses Splash on Tinko. Nothing happens, of course. Nothing ever happens. Maybe if you were in a water event like diving last week, but nothing's gonna happen in gymnastics. Shuichi, Haru, Riko, Kaito, and Nagito hunt for other tributes. Ruruka and Yoko discover that their competition is a blue hedgehog and a plumber. Alright, I guess Mario and Sonic are in the Dongan Olympic Games. Masaru eats too much candy and can't sit still. Nani Achiaki gives Fuyiko her jacket along with a hug. And Crazy Yoko is stung by a bee. We'll proceed. We lost four. All three members of Dongan Rumble 1 out. And Kujo also out. But can we get a Claire Deilu 4? 
Kujo, Sayaka, Mukuro, Junko. The spare sisters right next to each other could not gymnastic it off. We'll proceed. Nobody left for Donnarumpa 1. They are the first team completely out. Donnarumpa 2 still has Crazy Oko, Fuyuko, and Nagito. Masaru remains from Ultra Spare Girls. Kaito with 5 KOs and Tinko both remain from Donnarumpa V3. Ruruka and Nane Achiaki are alive and well for Donnarumpa 3. And the OCs still have 3 folks as well. Yoko, Riko, and Haru. It is anybody's game. Two more until you're saving grace pick, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is correct. Two more until you're saving grace pick. Will we get to just two or will it be a whole slock of people? Who knows, but we have two. Proceed to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hit it. Let's hit the button. As we start all off, it's night four. And Fuyihiko and Ruka play rock, paper, scissors. Fuyihiko lost and now has a sad feeling in his chest. Nani Ajiaki cooks, uh, cooks her food before putting out her fire. Haru is unable to sleep. He's, he's unable to sleep with warmth because he's unable to start a fire. He still goes to sleep though, he'll, he'll be fine. Kaito tells Crazy Hyoko that he loves her. Crazy Hyoko replies, Ha! If only there were someone out there who loved you. That sounds like Crazy Hyoko. That sounds about right. Or she'd be so flustered and then she'd say the same thing. Riko and Yoko sleep in shifts, the OC is working together well this episode. Shuichi thinks that he can win as long as he believes in the heart of the cards. Tenko confesses her love for Masaru. Masaru lovingly embraces her, concept, uh, accepting a confession. Does he, is, is Tenko like, degenerate males are all degenerates, except for Masaru. He's a good guy. I, I bet that man's is great. Nagito uses a pot of greed, the pot of greed, the cod pot of greed. Receives clean water and fresh food. It's the feast. Will we get bonus points? Ooh, the corner copies replenish food supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. Masaru decides not to go to the feast. We don't get any bonus points. That's really shocking to me, guys. There's so many bonus points <laughs> events in this thing. <laughs> Masaru doesn't go to the feast. Yoko snaps Tenko's neck. Ruruka, Kaito, and Fuyiko work together to figure out everyone's motives. Riko and Haru fight Shuichi and Crazy Yoko. Riko and Haru survive. The OCs are rocking right now. Nane Aichiaki and Nagito get into a fist fight until Nane Aichiaki walks away swearing revenge. We still have to get through the day, but we lost. A ton of people and three OCs are still standing strong. Day 5, Haru puts all of his faith into a Tua. In an effort to survive, Riko tries to strangle Ruruka with toilet paper. Ruruka tears through it and breaks Riko's neck in retaliation. Riko's out of this one, but she made it so far. Masaru tries to find every Monokuma on the school grounds. Nani Aichiaki, Fuhiko, Kaito, and Nagito play cards, and Yoko rest in a fruit tree. We lost the two that we needed to, and two more, which means we're at your final eight. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what that means. After this, Claire de Lune 4. Tenko, Shuichi, Crazy Hyoko, Riko. We'll see everybody's statuses. Just eight players remain. Which means that it is time for your Saving Grace Picks. From Danganronpa 2, we saw Fuihiko with one kill and Nagito with three. Masaru still holding out strong. The hope still remains for Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. Kaito is now the sole survivor for Danganronpa V3. Can he bring them some points? Can he bring them the gold medal? Danganronpa 3 still has Ruruka and Nane Aichiaki with four kills. Nane Aichiaki, could she pull off a second win this season? Just like Mew in the singles bracket. We have two OCs as well. Yoko and Haru with three KOs. That's your final eight. So tell me your saving grace picks, and I noticed a lot of you did this in the comments, and I think that's a good idea. Your saving grace picks for bronze, silver, and gold. Tell me which three do you think are gonna top the top three, because that's the only way they're owning, uh, they're earning points this time around. Toon Link, you fell down. How could you? I don't even know when that happened. Toon Link, oh no. Toon Link, you get back up there. I, I'm so sorry, by the way. What do you guys got? If I had to pick, I'm going Kaito for first, for uh, for undisclosed reasons. Uh, give me Fuyihiko for second, and give me an OC for third, give me Haru. I like Haru's design a lot. Um, 
I think that's it. I think that's the lot. That's that's the three that I have. You guys have to do it by liking, subscribing, most importantly, adding in your comments, commenting in our comments, do whatever you got to do to make your saving grace picks. No. Because it's time. Puihiko, Nagito, Masaru, Kaito, Furuka, Nane Aichihaki, Yoko, and Haru. All fight here with the heart of a samurai woman. Oh yes, it is time. Let's do it, let's proceed. Who will be your top three? Let's find out. As Ruruka passes out from exhaustion at the start of night five, Kaito stays awake all night. Nagito tried to set up a trap, but unfortunately ends up trapping himself. That's the trap master, he's losing his touch. Fuiko puts on a magic show. Yoko pushes Masaru into a tank of piranhas during the... Masaru, you were so close. You held out hope for Ultra Despair Girls for so long, for so long. I, I, he's, he's gotta be, he's gotta be legit player of the game, if I'm being completely honest. Haru, set up camp for the night, Nani Aichaki tried to set up a trap, unfortunately she ends up trapping herself as well, we'll proceed on now to day six. Haru and Nagito go fishing together. Nana Aichiaki sleeps through the day, away from everyone else. Ruruka confides in Fuyuhiko. Fuyuhiko takes note so he can exploit her later. Yoko receives hot cocoa from an unknown sponsor, Kaito. Kaito, I had so many coins, it could have been the day. But you died from thirst. That means we're at your final six as we proceed on to this Claire Day Loon. We lost two more. I'm glad that the game didn't prove me wrong and was like, ah, yeah, no, it's actually an arena event. Your final six, because we lost these two. <sighs> we lost Masaru. We lost Kaito. What a terrible turnabout. Four. Masaru. Kaito. So if we see everybody's statuses once more. Two from Danganronpa 2. Two from Danganronpa 3 and two from the OC team. I don't know who it's gonna be. I don't know who it's gonna be at all. Ladies and gentlemen, these six are actually still fighting with the heart of a samurai woman. They have to keep going. They have to fight for what's right, fight for their right to get that Olympic gold in gymnastics, but we'll proceed to see who is actually going to get it. Let's check it out. Let's proceed because at the start of night six, oh my goodness. Ruka and Fuyiko fight ambitiously at the top of a tower. Ruka suddenly walks up to the base of the tower using dynamite to blow it up. The tower falls over, sending Haru and Fuyihiko tumbling to their deaths. Ruka, you villain. We're at our final four now. Gina, Nane Aichaki puts on a pair of radical shades. She is so cool. Is she going to get another win? Is she going to get another win this season? Nagito and Yoko play rock, paper, scissors. There is only a slim shot for OCs to get points this episode. It's up to Yoko. It's up to Nagito. But Danganronpa 3 could extend, will extend their lead a little bit because they are now guaranteed to get some points. They're guaranteed to get at least 10 points. We'll proceed to day six? Day seven. I can read. Nani Aichiaki and Yoko smote Ruruka's medal, she swears revenge, and Nagito receives fresh fruit from an unknown sponsor. We lost two more. Two good boys. Can we get... <sighs> Not a Claire de Lune, because it's a terrible, a terrible turnabout for... Haru. Fuyihiko. <laughs> the boys. I was low-key hoping for them too, but we'll proceed, we'll see everybody's statuses. Nagito with three KOs, Ruka with five now, Nani Aichiaki with four, and Yoko with two, and once again, anybody's game. Nagito, Ruruka, Nani Aichiaki, Yoko, Danganronpa 3 guaranteed to get some points. I don't know who it's going to be. Everyone has KO, so there's no passive as Victor. But it is Nagito, it is Ruruka, it is Nani Aichiaki, and it is Yoko. And you know by now that they are caught in a crisis of faith. I don't know who it's going to be. I never do. But that means the time is now. The moment is here. Let's proceed to night seven. It will not be Nane Aichiaki as Yoko thinks about winning. The OCs will get some points this episode. Danganronpa 1 will still be at Goose Egg, but Ruka questions her sanity. 
Nagito poisons Nani Aichiki's drink, and she drinks it and dies. It is down to Ruruka, Nagito, and Yoko will proceed to day eight. Is it over? It's... Oh my gosh. Yoko catches the despair disease. She... Ooh, beats Ruruka to death with a tree branch while crying and laughing hysterically. Okay! Yoko is a major threat in this game, but let's not forget about Nagita who installs a bomb somewhere without anyone knowing. We'll proceed on to Fallen Tributes. It is 1v1. Things will end the next time that we click proceed, but first, after the poison, after the tree branch, what a terrible, terrible turnabout for... Nane Aichiaki. Ruruka. And so, it is Nagito with four KOs. He could get another second place. He could be silver medal. He could be legitimate silver medal Nagito. <laughs> getting another silver medal. Um, I was kind of hoping it would be Nane Aichiaki Nagito again. That would have been poetic justice. But we also have Yoko here who could get the first ever gold medal for the OCs, but is definitely going to get their first ever big amount of points. They're either getting 15 or 25. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me scroll up a little bit so you can see Nagito's face and her face at the same time, because I need to ask you guys. <sighs> breathe it in, breathe it in, breathe it in, breathe it in, breathe it in. Oh, I don't have that one in here. Unless it's... No. Interesting. Ah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Now I can ask you, who will it be? Nagito, Yoko, Nagito, getting points, more points for Don Gon Rampa 2. It could skyrocket them close to first place for the OCs who desperately, they don't, yeah, they kind of desperately need 25 points. That'll put them right back in the running for first place. Who's it going to be? Nagito, Yoko, Nagito getting another silver medal, or will he forget his first gold? Yoko getting the first medal regardless for the OCs. Nagito, Yoko, Nagito, Yoko, Nagito, Yoko. <sighs> Yoko attempts to climb a tree, but falls to her death getting the silver medal. It's Yoko, your first ever OC medalist getting the silver today. That gets you guys big points for Team OC though. But that means <sighs> that you're a winner. From Don Gon Rampa 2, he has gotten the silver, and now he has claimed gold just a week later. Nagito takes the victory and the big 25 points for Team Don Gon Rampa 2. And that's it. Congratulations, you earned it, Nagito, you did, you did. He, he was just lucky enough, but he got a bunch of kills, he deserved it, four KOs, not the most KOs, Ruka in third. Still getting points for Danganronpa 3, slowly extending their lead, but it's not too much of a lead. Tomorrow's episode could change the scoreboard drastically. Nagito with four in first place. Yoko, congratulations, the first OC medalist taking second place. Ruka in third, Nane Aichiaki in fourth, Fuyiko in fifth, Haru in sixth, Kaito in seventh, Masu in eighth, Riko in ninth, and Crazy Yoko in tenth. Danganronpa one, what are y'all doing? Y'all didn't even get in the top ten. Get yourselves together. <laughs> oh my gosh, zero points. They need like, I mean, it's possible that they could get like a full sweep tomorrow. Three, three players from Danganronpa one all taking first, second, and third, and that would put them right back in the running. But let me tell you, they are struggling right now. Like, pull up the scoreboard right now. Check that out. Danganronpa 1 with zero points still. Three weeks in a row, they have not gotten a single point. Danganronpa 2 ex gets double the points that they had before. They're now at 50 with a 25, thanks to Nagito. Danganronpa 3, however, still in first place with this extra 10 and the change in rules a little bit. They are now at 60 big points. Danganronpa... V3 didn't earn any points, so they stay at 25, but that could all change tomorrow. Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls gets 10 big points. Congratulations. Well, they don't get 10 big points. They always had 10 big points. 
<laughs> they they got no points this game. The monster who held out strong for them as best as he could. He got eighth place. He did very well because most of them down real early. Most of them got out real early. And lastly, the OCs extend from five, get that big 15, and they are now at 20, right back in the running. Because if they have a good game, they get some bonus points, they get a gold medal, everything can change. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the scoreboard so far. And we'll do a slow roll for everybody else who's here. Good work, good work. Um, poor Mahiru. Last place. Congratulations to Nagito, though. First, he got silver and gold. Nani Ajayaki also, also almost got her second medal. She's, she's doing work. She's secretly doing work. She's been a strong competitor recently. Just really recently. But we'll go ahead. We'll proceed. It all started with Mukuro taking out Mahiru, and it ended with Yoshi. Yoko falling from a tree to her death. It was a shame, but Nagito picked up the big win thanks to trees, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, the last three kills all involved trees in some way. A tree branch, or I guess the last two. Two, two silver and gold bro, both died to some tree-related death. Tree branch, tree. Trees, never forget. They're not on a team because they're too powerful. They're one of the judges, let me tell you. Toon Link, Dave, trees, they're all judges. They're, they're people who are uh, assigning these bonus points. We'll go ahead and proceed. Don Rapa 2, best place district, OC in second, Don Rapa 3 in third, Kaito with 5 KOs, so did Ruruka, Nagito with 4, Nana Achiaki with 4, Haru, Tenko, and Yoko with 3, Anji, Mukuro, Nagisa, and Riko with 2, Chisa, Fuihiko, Jotaro, and Junko with 1, nobody else got any kills. That's the placements, congratulations to everyone involved. Uh, we'll just go back to the reaping, that was it. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow, I don't remember what Olympic event is scheduled for tomorrow. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> but it's going to be fun. We've got most, I don't think there's a, a team that has not been in action, or I don't think that any of the teams from last week are in this week's episode, except for maybe one. Except for maybe one, although I think I did a pretty good job of separating everybody out. And we have some more OC teams. It's going to be a fun episode tomorrow, in the year of the horizon. Toon Link, there we go. Dave, a wrong way. Dave, you know, you would, when you get to 3,000, you would expect that I would know what I'm doing. I don't. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're United States Aviator taking off. Stay classy, passengers. It's going to be a fun one tomorrow. Can Danganronpa 3 extend their lead? Can Danganronpa 1 get any points? You're struggling, Danganronpa 1. You're struggling. And lastly, can the OCs get out of... They're still in... Not next to last place, actually. Because of this game, they're uh, in fourth. That is correct. They're in fourth place now. That's interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed it. Tomorrow, more OCs, more battles. It's archery, because everyone has a bow. I remember what's going on, and that's going to be a real fun one. Stay classy. Toodaloo. Flight crew. Thanks for watching.